Union, we heard a, a number of uh, um, ministers there talking about it. Germany continues to emphasize the legal hurdles. When, when do you see any end to this? Well, the banking union comes in these uh, famous three steps. Uh, the, the first one being that the ECB becomes the supervisor of all or at least the largest European banks. That seems to be well on its way and the summit at the end of uh, June will probably uh, make the final progress necessary for that. Uh, the second bit is what we're discussing at the moment. That's the common resolution authority and this common resolution scheme. There's two strands of the discussion. One is uh, this discussion about who uh, is involved in bailouts in what order when do get depositors get involved when equity holders bond holders and when does the taxpayer get involved that's what the the core European countries Germany and the Netherlands are really worried about that the taxpayer gets protected as much as possible and then you have this discussion about uh, when can European taxpayers money be used rather than national ones that's what the southern European countries want to see um, and, and there's a, a lot of po uh, positioning going on ahead of this summit uh, at the end of June and I, I wouldn't take that too seriously at okay. the moment. Um, ZEW numbers out of Germany today. Um, w what is your expectation? We had a pretty decent Centix index out. What is your expectation for ZEW, for IFO, and in fact for the GDP tomorrow? Well, we're expecting the ZEW to improve slightly. Capital markets have been uh, strong. The Centix is a good indicator as well. So we're, we're thinking that this uh, period of softness which we've had since the Italian elections back in February, that that's going to end and that leading indicators, including also the IFO and the PMIs, are going to uh, improve further. For the GDP figures tomorrow, we're expecting the Eurozone to stay into a recession, but the recession will be a lot milder. And as the year progresses with uh, the leading indicator stabilizing and improving, we think that the Eurozone will be out of recession by the third quarter of this year.